Oh, best note I ever got. Let's talk about that on the documentary. Oh, yeah. How about this? The note, the best note that I've given any actor is, Amelia, can you spread your legs a little bit more for when Clive goes down on you? Thank you. Oh, Cloud Nine. Originally introduced to Carol Churchill through the British Academy, um, the British Drama Academy, um, and so through being introduced to her as a playwright, I then became aware of Cloud Nine and read it and subsequently fell in love with it. Okay, so does everyone remember what page we're starting at? Right after a monologue, correct? Sixty-nine. Why not? The first act is set in colonial Africa. The second act is 1979 London, and yet the characters have only aged 25 years. So there's absolutely an absurdist quality to it, but it's the idea that um, well, it parallels British Empire oppression with sexual oppression and gender roles, and it's the idea that the past directly influences the future, and that we can never find who we are today without looking back and accepting the past and things that have happened. So um, that's how I would describe what it's about. There is absolutely explicit material, adult content and adult language, and um, not everybody is going to like that. But with that said, I think that Carol Churchill is brilliant, and her reasons for choosing such explicit content are valid and supported, and the metaphors behind them make perfect sense, so much so that it astounds us every day that we're working on the material. <laughs> My hope is that people will take the play and take the idea of labels, which is really the, the thread of the piece that I was looking at, is how we all um, kind of compartmentalize people and uh, how self-concept can come about through social constructs versus identity being something you create yourself. So I'm hoping that the audience pulls that thread out of, of their viewing experience and uh, because of it, they decide to take labels out of their life and just look at people as people, which is what we all are. And then uh, Martin, you're going to label Victoria by Curious when uh, you say the line, you're the one who's talked about freedom, you're the one who's experimenting with bisexuality. Having read it and having uh, found out that this year's theme for the campus was gender and identity, I saw that the themes connected up perfectly and uh, therefore wanted to direct it. And then during like the the poignant moments in the play, like uh -huh. the right moments in the play, they're gonna, can I rip this off? Is it yeah, ready? Go for it. They sure, can, right. um, someone work, else is gonna come up to them and like rip the label off. So it's like we transcend labels. In context of the play, but translated to in the context of the world, I think becomes not necessarily this place that we all think of as oh we've we've reached cloud nine, but it becomes this blissful place of forgiveness within ourselves, and um, this. It's the idea of like, what is happiness anyway? How do we know when we're actually happy? And I think the idea that it's not a place outside of ourselves, but that it comes from within our own thinking and it becomes our own self con construct. I think um, Cloud9 is just this place inside each of us that we need to find ourselves.